I remember we were working when my father says, come on, we're, we're leaving. I says, we're leaving, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so we left. To go on strike, uh, you suffer a lot of hardship. Uh, maybe you get hungry, maybe you're gonna lose your car, maybe you're gonna lose your house. And I remember leaving the field and driving through the, uh, seeing the strikers of the Filipinos. But the Filipinos face a dilemma. As they strike for a union, the farmers bring in Mexican workers to replace them. It's one of the things I learned that the farmers like to do. They like to pit the Mexicans against the Filipinos because you're gonna be fighting for the same pot of gold. Many Mexican laborers have already joined the National Farm Workers Association, led by the charismatic Cesar Chavez. I remember meeting at the Filipino Community Hall in Toledo. All the labor contractors were there, and a lot of the farm workers were there, and they're trying to decide, are we going to end the strike? Or are we going to negotiate with the Mexicans to join us? And then Larry at Leong says, I'm going to go talk to the Mexicans. When the strike happens, Cesar Chavez wasn't really quite ready. But Cesar also knew that if they didn't join the Filipinos then, then they would never happen. Larry approaches Cesar Chavez and his colleague Dolores Huerta as one of AWOC's co-founders. Her relationship with Larry and the Filipinos goes back years. And then a couple days later, we're at this church. They're talking about the strike. They're discussing, should we go on strike or not go on strike? And all of a sudden there's a swaga. I said, what the heck swaga? Because I thought they were saying, hell no. I said, no, it means strike, we're going on strike. And so the Mexicans joined us. Come on, come on. Where are your brothers and sisters over here? Come on. 